Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Welcome to the Gold Coast Arts Center. We're a non-for-profit school. And this is a very big event celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. I have a wonderful guest curator. His name is Orestes Gonzalez. And he knew many of the artists, and I knew some of the artists, and we connected everybody. As the show is called Conexiones, Connections, I knew these, of these artists personally for a number of years. I knew of their dedication to the work. So I thought that they deserved a good show. There is a little bit of everything. I wanted to bring a variety of works so people in Great Neck could see that it's not just about the stereotypical art that you expect to see. There's uh, expressionism, geometry, surrealism, folk art. There's a little bit of everything. This is altar for the Day of the Dead. That's the, that's the day to remember all dead relatives. So we had to offer in something they, they like uh, alive. So if the if you're like, I don't know, your grandfather liked, I don't know, the, a Coke, a soda, we had to offer in that day. So I make all, all the pieces I make. Some is a ceramic, some is a paper mache, carving, wood. I don't know, I like, I like to experiment with like different, different techniques, different materials. This series is called Continuum. The purpose in my paintings uh, basically are movement and um, the ambiguity of, uh, of, the, of the human form. You can find uh, figures in my world, but they are not uh, 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 like real figures. They are more like a suggestions of, of, uh, of figures and without gender. This is inspired by Florida mangroves. They take four weeks to uh, complete this piece. And it's done with Tyvek. I use Tyvek paper. And I cut uh, the piece with, with the Zacto knife. And I love being together with Christian Petrapiana and Gilberto. And I just met other uh, fellow artists here. And I'm very happy to be with them. I'm very, I feel very honored to be with them. These are interiors that I kind of grew up in. It was a uh, very commonplace. But then one day I looked at them and I go, darn, these are really interesting interiors, you know? Very, very daring in the, in the use of color and textures and materials. So I decided to photograph it. I don't think people do these types of interiors as much as they used to before. So it's, I'm kind of like capturing uh, a time that uh, is no longer as prevalent as it used to be. Mine is more like conversational pieces when you sit in front of them with your friends and, and then you've tried to figure out what's happening in the painting. So I, I like the people participation. So the painting is not finished until it's somebody is witnessing and say, no, you're wrong, this is, this is what this means. You know what, I give the credit to, to Orestes, who's also a good friend of mine, uh, for making such an interesting group. Because we are all you know, Latin Americans, but we are all, all, at the same time, we are very different. We speak the same language, we understand each other's view for art and all that, but it's a, this is a good uh, melting pot.